Good day, everybody. Today I want to talk about Waza and this pesky problem that we keep on having that says that the Waza dashboard server is not ready yet. Now, um, I've tried to find a fix to this everywhere. Blogspots, YouTube, nobody seems to have a fix. It's almost like there is a fix, but nobody wants to share it. So I found, uh, I found a fix by trial and error. And um, today I want to show you how to fix this error. First of all, I'm running Ubuntu Linux on VirtualBox. So um, first of all, I just want to show you my settings, um, my RAM, my processor settings, my graphics settings, and um, this is my network settings. I've set it to a bridged connection so that it bridges with my network driver. Um, I've tried it the other way with the NAT net and it doesn't seem to work for me. So um, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your virtual box where you've installed Wasm. Um, so um, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to confirm your IP address. Sometimes the virtual box ra randomizes the IP address. So if your IP address is correct, it will say that the Waza dashboard server is ready. If it's not correct, it will not, um, it will show that this page is not available or some error like that. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to test your connection to see if you have a connection to the outside world. Um, let me just ping the Google server. Okay, the connection is successful. And then I receive 66. Let me just run that again. Maybe I stopped it too soon, but the connection is successful anyway. Okay. Okay, zero, zero percent packets loss. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is I want you to run these commands. I will leave a link down below for this commands. I will leave it in the description or in the first comments and I want you to run these commands through your terminal on your Ubuntu machine. I want you to run this as follows. First, second and third. This is how I want you to run this. So let's copy the first command and um, let's paste and run this command. If it prompts you for your password, just enter your password and then press enter. Okay, let's grab the second command. Let me just do something here because, okay. I have a slight glitch. Okay, second command. Copy, paste, run. Third command. Copy, paste, run. Now this should fix the error that you've been having all this time. The Waza index to restart this. Sometimes it locks you out of your Ubuntu machine. Then you just have to log back in again and run the commands again. So if it does that, just run the commands again and um, that will fix your issue. Because this is, a, this is a issue that I had for like three weeks and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And... Um, I just started running commands on my own until I stumbled across these these three commands that um, that fixed the error for me. And then when I got into the Waza dashboard, I had another error, the API error, uh, which the API isn't configured correctly. So um, I'm not gonna make a video on that today or I'm not going to include uh, that in this video. I'm going to make another video and I'll show you how to fix that 
that uh, API connection error. Um, it's really simple and straightforward, but um, I'll show you how to do that. Because no one seems to have an, a proper fix for this. This index that takes a while to, to start. Yeah, because nobody seem, really seems to have a, a proper fix to that. They will tell you a lot of technical stuff, not really straightforward. And uh, if you're new to this, it'll be really hard to figure out, just like it was hard for me. But uh, I finally found the fix, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, okay. Let's just wait for the indexer to, to finish. The indexer to start. You know what? Let me just let me just speed up this this process. I'll push it and I'll come back once the index is finished starting. Okay, so just as I as I pressed push, it finished. So yeah, that should fix the problem now. Okay, so let's try it. Let's go back to our browser. And let's reload it because now the issue should be fixed. I promise you that much. And every time you want to uh, log back into your WASA server and it says that the WASA dashboard server not ready, just run those three commands and it will fix that problem. Uh, maybe I have a weak connection to the internet. No, not really. Uh, app login. Let me clear this. Sometimes, sometimes you should clear this and just run it like this. The hypertext with your IP address and see if it fixes the problem. It usually just works for me. I don't know why this is having a problem now. Okay, now we. Maybe that, that was just a simple internet connection issue because I'm kind of far away from my from my router. Okay, so um, let me just enter this password I'm going to push and I'm going to come back once I've entered the password. Okay, so this password is the password when you that you got when you installed Waza. It's a long, lengthy password. And um, so let's log in and see if the fix worked. Because this should have worked for you too. If it worked for me, it should work for you. And I'm running uh, Windows 11, an updated version of Windows 11. I seem to be having internet issues because I'm so far away from my router. And then this is the second issue that I got with the APIs, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that in another video because I don't want to make this video too long. So um, let's just wait for the API to fix. It says something went wrong, but that's just because the connection timed out. If I refresh, refresh it, uh, you'll see that it fixed the issue. <clears throat> Why is it so slow? Okay. So there, at least you are in, uh, this, this always shows that, um, that uh, I have uh, my total agents, active agents, 
but it doesn't want to show now. Maybe it's maybe it's a it's an internet connection because it doesn't do that when I'm near near my router. Never, never, never. It never does that. Never. This is the first time that I'm having that I'm having issues with this with this login process. Usually it just it just goes through. Because everything is configured correctly. Yeah. Now now it now it goes through. After it just it just wanted to waste that our time I guess. So um yeah I hope the fix worked for you and if it does I'm glad now you can actually go ahead and, and, and learn this tool how it actually works because it's really interesting so I want to thank you for watching and um, make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you